Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me tonight on this beer review. We are taking the trip guys, going to Copenhagen in Denmark for this special occasion hopefully. We are going to Mikeller guys, and not just Mikeller but to Mikeller Baghaven. As you can see there, which is their experimental part of their brewery organization. Experimenting in a lot of sour beers, wild ales and such. We are taking a look at this fella, the Rubus of Rose, described as a Danish wild ale with raspberries, clocking in at 6% ABV in a big 750 milliliter bottle. 2020 edition, guys, from this one. Lovely label, aged for 12 months on oak barrels. Got the lovely traditional look to it, birdcage, wooden cork. Uh, they say here, uh, uh, there we go, uh, yeah, that's it, uh, contains uh, water, barley malt, wheat, raspberries, hops, yeast, bacteria, aged in oak barrels. Right, and there's no uh, back label there. So, it is a wild ale, guys, with raspberries. So, with that said, let's give it a pop, see what we get. I'm going to get that cage off. So very, very interesting indeed. I do have several of uh, offerings from this one, this brewery, from the Keller Baghaven, which is specializing on, uh, there we go, on wild ales. There we go. Fantastic pop, a lot of good smoke. Let's give it a pour. Okay, there we go, guys. So I would basically say that kind of Baghaven, uh, as it says there, is basically the equivalent, uh, the McKellar equivalent of Brewdog and their Overworks facility. Experimental beers and so on, wild ales. And I'm intrigued. So, there we go. A little bit of a gentle carbonation, slightly pinkish, quickly dissipating. Kind of a ruby red color, I would say, on that pour. Hazy. Looking good. You can hear the carbonation. There you go. Let's go for the aroma, guys. See what this one brings to the table. It smells fantastic. So you got two things here. You got first, you got a lovely kind of a, oh, you know, really, really lovely kind of marmalade raspberries. That's what I'm getting. Big fruity marmalade raspberry vibe. Then you get get a little bit of a tra kind of a astringent note on the nose as well, probably from the wood, from the oak. So remember, this one spent 12 months in oak. But I would say the, the dominating is that lovely marmalade fruity, raspberry note. Smells fantastic. So with that said, guys, let's see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Oh, certainly tart, tart raspberries in there, intermingled with a woody character, dry woody character, long lingering flavors. Uh, it's not particularly sweet, to be fair, guys. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more of a uh, natural sweetness from the raspberries, but I don't really get that, again. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the woody elements of the oak, 
And together with that very acidic tart raspberries, those are the dominating flavors. Certainly barrel aged, astringent, dry, together with that strong uh, tart fruitiness from the raspberries. It is a natural raspberry uh, flavor. It's not artificial. It certainly it leaves you with a little bit of a mouth puckering sensation. Certainly astringent. But I mean, guys, if that's your thing, if you like these kind of wild ales, it's a wild ale. And wild ale, that means that you have infected the beer, basically, with a natural wild strains of either bacteria, or it could also be uh, fungi. So there are and all those different strains are producing different flavors, of course, which is kind of the thing with wild ales, of course. And then there's also a little bit of a controversy with sour ales versus wild ales because they're not technically the same. Mm. Yeah, there's a definitely a woody bitterness as well. So a, a bitterness is coming through a little bit more on the aftertaste. So this is a wild ale, but wild ales can definitely be sour, of course. And uh, not all wild ales are sour. So, But there is certainly a uh, acidity to this one. Astringent acidity, bitterness, woody astringency, natural raspberries, but not sweet, but more so that fruity part of the raspberries, natural fruitiness, but not particularly sweet. If you like those beers... Oh, sorry. And you like that barrel aging concept in it for wild ales or whatever. Uh, this one will probably be right up your alley. Mikella Baghaven, and this is the Rubus of Rose. For me, it's a little bit on the bitter side, slightly astringent, slightly too much astringency to it. But it's a very well made beer. I'm going to enjoy it, guys. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.